We just want to welcome you to the podcast, Becoming More. And today you're going to become more through your health, through longevity, because we know that's what we're all after, right? Especially us baby boomers. Maybe the young ones listening to this, oh, you think your health is going to be great forever. Yet if we don't invest in it today, you're going to pay for it later on. You either pay now or pay later. Today I am with Sean Pollard. We've worked together. I know his integrity, his authenticity, and transparency will come out as it came out for me when I worked with him. So you're in for a real treat. See, Sean finds great joy in constant improvement and finding the connection of body and mind. And that's important. A lot of people do not realize that they are connected. And after completing his master's in education, he started as a teacher and then moved into sales roles. He has always lived an active lifestyle and now in aligning his passion for health and wellness into a powerful belief system. Now, Sean, I got to tell you, as I read that, I really thought about this mind and body connection. Why is it important for us to understand how our mind and body work together? Such a great question, Diana. I just want to give you a lot of gratitude. Thank you so much for having me on this podcast also. Um, you know, as you know, Diana, and you, you study how people think and, and our thoughts are really going to control our actions. So how we feel about the investment of health and how we feel about what we really want our future to be is going to dictate the actions that we're going to take that are actually going to be positive in our life. So I've always been fascinated at, at, at really working with um, having people think better than they're actually sometimes even feeling right now about their health so that they could start to take positive action. And so isn't it interesting, though, how when we feel insecure, uh, well, it starts with an insecure thought, yet we have those feelings which then feed our mind. So we have more insecure thoughts and we feel more insecure. And what I hear you telling us that's so important is that when we change that thought and make a choice to think and to concentrate and focus on something better, our body will feel better. Yet we need a lot more than that, don't we? We, we need to have some supplements and other things that help us out. So let's talk about longevity. I, I, I see love, your sign behind you. <laughs> I love that. I, no, well, hey, listen, I, I, I truly believe my, my belief system is I want people's um, health span, that the healthy years of their life, to, to match their lifespan. And unfortunately, uh, that, that isn't always the case. We see with these chronic diseases and we see people that aren't living the best version of their life. Longevity to me is an ecosystem. So longevity definitely is eating well. Um, and, and everyone defines what eating well is to them. Uh, it is recovery and sleep. Um, I believe there is mental and community that is so important, but we must concentrate on our mind. Then there is movement that is so important. And, and, and movement, I'm very passionate about. And that's where the supplementation and, uh, and, and treating our bodies right you know, I sometimes think of uh, the human body kind of like a flashlight. And we've all done it where we, we're walking around with a flashlight and we're noticing that the flashlight's getting a little dimmer and, and dimmer or just not, it just isn't functioning quite as well. And boy, when we recharge those batteries, we're like, why didn't I change those three weeks ago? You know, now I can see really well. It, it, it is actually working at a high level. The body is just like that, Diana, as you know, uh, we we stop producing some of the important things that our body needs to function at a high level, and we need to recharge it, uh, and, and we need to recharge our minds, and, and we always need to be adding uh, to our world to perform at the highest level. So that performance does make a difference. So you hit on quite a few things there. I'm going to delve into a little bit more. As far as your health goes, you said that there's things that start shutting down. Correct. And we know as you get older, that happens. What are some things that we do know that shut down and what can we do about it? So, you know, there's always the basic things that I, I always uh, talk to people about. You know, our body stops producing collagen uh, in our mid 20s to our 30s. Collagen is so important for our skin, hair and nails. And then other things like inflammation start coming into play as we really get older. And inflammation is what they call the silent killer. 
the reduction of inflammation, we see inflammation show up in so many different uh, chronic diseases and in free radical damage. That's when our cells are being damaged and we see all of the other challenges, health scares that can come up. So the, the reduction of inflammation is probably one of the most important things that you could do to the human body, especially as you age. When we see people that start having chronic issues from arthritis to uh, you know different stomach and digest digestive issues, many times we're looking, we're talking about inflammation, lipedema, different things where we're gathering fat in parts of our body. This is inflammation that's really out of whack with our bodies. So we need to keep our body in, in alignment. Okay. So if we're getting a little fluffy around the middle, so to speak, right, you're saying that that could actually be caused by inflammation as well as eating the wrong foods. It's a combination. 100%, you know, and, and some of these conditions, 9% uh, of, uh, of women suffer from like lipedema, where we're starting to see that, that, that gathering of fat in certain areas. Some of that is diet, some of that is exercise and inflammation that we're seeing. And it is not something that you can, you know, just do one thing and not the other, that you need to take a look at all of the factors to really be healthy with that. So inflammation and, uh, and when you're when you wake up and, and you're a little bit sore than you were before, mm -hmm. we're talking about inflammation. When your body is reacting to different illnesses, Sometimes inflammation will help to fight that off, but then inflammation will also go further and sabotage the body. So very important for us to control as we get older. So what can I do to help cut down on inflammation of my body? Well, I'll tell you what, one of the products that, that uh, X Endurance, which is the company that I'm the director of, uh, that is our flagship mm -hmm. product that really brought me to this, this company. It's a product called Essentials, and that product is a inflammation lactic acid reducer, and it helps to increase cardiovascular health. So it's, I like to call it uh, the magic pills or the, or, or the wonder uh, product that will actually get people moving more. And while they're moving more, they're going to see more success with that movement and less of the, the soreness and the fatigue and the kinetic kinase, which is the tearing of muscles. So that Essentials mm -hmm. product is one that I see as just being an incredible product, along with a well-balanced uh, nutritional diet and supplements to give your body, keep those flashlights fully charged. Well, so now will this actually help on arthritis to make certain that it doesn't set in? So we never want to make claims because the human body is a pretty dynamic thing. Uh, this definitely will assist. In, in that. And the one thing that I know for sure, and I know that you're a student of too, is when you give your body, the body's an amazing thing when you treat it right. And when you give it what it really needs, when you give it an incredible foundation with like products like this, they will reduce the inflammation. Now with arthritis, could that be chronic from some other situation that happened, an injury or something like that, that it might not treat? I would never promise that but it is going to give your body the very best foundation to be as healthy as possible. See, I told them that you were going to be authentic and transparent. And I love the fact that you're not saying, hey, this is the be all, do all, have all, right, of the world. So thank you for that. I'm curious, what doctors are you learning from that are helping you with all the things that you're doing for health? You know, it, it's that's a great question. I'm, I'm so glad that you asked me that because I've really been on a journey for a long time, Diana, and I, I, I've been I've always been uh, worried about my health. I like to say I was kind of uh, dabbling in health. Uh, I would be exercising and trying new drinks and new proteins, and I would buy them all over big box stores and going to the, the vitamin stores and doing all of that. It's when I ran into uh, the, the team at X Endurance, and it was a chance meeting that they that they uh, they, they let me try some of the product. Um, there was no pushing, or they, they've been making these products for over 25 years for the U.S. Olympic swim team and uh, strength and training coaches, and they they were very um, happy in that incredibly elite athlete uh, zone. So when I got with them, of course, I, I go to my, uh, I would call a standard physician that I do my annual checkups on. Um, I started working though with dietitians uh, that I could lean on and really talk about the diet that works best for me. Mm -hmm. I also work with a chiropractor and movement 
a uh, person that helps me with with maximizing my my body and making sure that everything's in in complete alignment. And you know, I, I, even with that, I even have uh, I go to therapy and I even work on my mind to make sure that I'm always learning and, and developing the best skills with my mind to keep that as sharp as possible. Well, that is so important. I mean, you've got to keep it all tuned up like a car, right? <laughs> it is. Well, I'm telling you, it, 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 we got it. We got to have. We really do need to go to when, just like a car. I love that analogy. You know, you, you might want to go in one time and get your oil changed, but then you might need tires also. And hey, what kind of gas <laughs> you put in that car? You know, how are you driving the car? Are you driving it to the point that it's going to be uh, not successful? And that's where the mind comes in. So I, I love looking at it from all angles. And I'm very, very passionate about it. Well, I know you are. And I'm on these items as well that we're talking about. And I know that they really do work. I see your sign, though. I brought it up a couple of times. And I'm certain that our listeners or viewers uh, actually see it, too. It says your health is a long-term investment that will pay off when you need it most. And it is a long-term investment. Yet, why do you think a lot of people do not want to invest in their health? You know, I, I think there's a couple of, this is a topic we could talk about, I mean, till the weekend. Uh, like, this is a, an amazing topic. You know, I, I think at the end of the day, we we are a, you know, you had a statement that you used to always say to me that we all have, you know, uphill aspirations and dreams and downhill habits. You know, we are a society uh, in, in America that we like to take the, the, the short route. We go to the doctor, we get another pill to treat something that's going wrong. Um, we eat food that is very convenient and, and quick for us. We don't sleep much. It's almost a, 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 like a, a statement of pride that we have lack of sleep in our society. You know, America is just over 4% of the world population, and America takes over 75% of the prescription drugs. So I'm on a quest to wow. remind people, you know, it, I'm on a quest to remind people that by investing, just like you invest money for the long term that you want to live a secure, healthy, happy life, you know, you got to invest in your health. And, and I believe in commonality of the human spirit. And I believe we all have a few things that we have in common. One thing we all we all want to give and receive love. Everyone wants that. Be yes, around our, our loved ones. We want to have that. We also want to be the very best version of ourselves. And even people that are grippling with chronic disease or with addictions, they still want to be the very best version of themselves. I want to align people with our products and with this ecosystem of health. And, and I love being with people like you that are always growth mindset. Listen, this is the fun part of life is that when you, the ones that you love, invest in your future self now so that that future self is going to be the best version of yourself for the people that you love the most and want to spend time with. Well, the one thing that you said earlier as well was you said you get chiropractic adjustments. It is important for us to keep our body in alignment. How often do you have that done, Sean? Uh, about every two weeks, I, I will go in for an adjustment there. And then I, I go to see my doctor. And, you know, I'll tell you one great story about my uh, with, with my my medical doctor. Uh, so my medical doctor, when I got serious, I got serious with X endurance about a year and a half ago. Well, last January, uh, this last January, I went in for my my physical I've been going to the same doctor uh, for about 15 years, a little over 15 years. They always, you always get the call with your blood work. Uh, and I told her <laughs> everything that I was doing. It was the most amazing call, Diana, that I received when she said to me, you were saying that you're doing a lot of things now that you feel more in alignment with your health. She says, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Your numbers. Oh, that's are, great. <laughs> your numbers today are better than when I first started treating you 15 years ago. Everything from blood pressure to your platelets to all of the indicators that we have for health. She's like, whatever you're doing, just just keep doing it. And, and I really believe in the team approach. And I know that you do, too, that, you know, you need we all need information and we all need support. Go to the people that are the experts to give you the advice. Yeah. Don't get on YouTube and try to self-educate yourself on the investment of your health. You know? <laughs> Unless they're listening to this podcast, of yeah, course. Exactly. And we, we want to make certain that they do understand there are things that we can do 
keeping ourselves and our body in alignment, eating the proper foods. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that because they believe it's giving up the the sweets and all of that. Yet it's really not giving everything up. It's just moderation, isn't it? What 100%. You know, I like to say that we all have a Michael Jordan level genius that's right in front of our face. <laughs> you know, we all we all have the answers right, right, right in front of us. Yet it's that thought process. When we get up in the morning, are what are, are we thinking about planning a healthy day? Are we thinking about planning a happy day that we're going to be our best version of ourselves? Planning out meals is one of the greatest things that people can do. And you're going to really line up your day to feel the very best that when you go to sleep that night, you can tell the difference when you eat well. You know, I always tell people there's two things. I was at a, a get together uh, a little while ago, true story, just a couple of weeks ago. And a friend of mine pulled me aside from the event and said, hey, listen, you're you're really positive, like even more than you've been before. And you really look good. Uh, and not that you were, you know, it had any other that like something that was really wrong with you. And I said, he said, I'd love to connect with you and see what you're doing. So we got on the Zoom the following week. And I said, there's there's two things, my friend, that I want you to do. One, I want you to start eating well. Let's go through your diet. Two, we're going to talk about supplementation because you're, you're plus 50. Your body is, is you're, you're slowing down a little bit. You're not exercising as much. You're getting a little bit more sore. Let's get you on a daily foundation, which is a, a, a pack that I always recommend with an incredible um, immunity boost, uh, incredible omega uh, D3, and then the essential product. Let's start there. Before we go out, so many people, Diana, you know them. One day they wake up, they go out and get a gym membership. They go to the gym the first time and they try to lift every single weight. Then they wake up the next day and they uh, that's out the window. Hey, start with a foundation, the daily foundation I always recommend, and a good solid diet of whole foods. I never get into people's diets and I never say, oh, this diet's better than this one. I say, eat whole foods and get with somebody like a dietitian to build a system. I have a diet that is built for me um, around what I like, what my activities are. And now I have, I have brought in somebody that actually understands diet and have developed it just for me. So I feel really lucky. Well, and I like the fact though, that even on the supplements, you don't say one supplement is for every single person. There are things that will help each person, yet you help sit down with the person and literally make certain that they understand what exactly they need, not just wanting to sell them a bunch of stuff, right? No, 100%. That, that's a, such a great point. I'm glad you brought this up. I, you know, we're not recreationally doing this. We, I truly believe, and, and, and even whether they, they join forces with my company or not, I want every single human to be the very best version of themselves. And, and Diana, I work with people. I, I have a friend of mine that we just started working with who has the early stages of Parkinson's disease. Our products will not cure Parkinson's disease. And we can create a very healthy foundation so that these years, as you're battling the challenge of your life, you've got your tank filled up with the absolute highest octane fuel for any of these challenges. Hey, some people, it's a very serious chronic disease. Some people, it's walking around the block one more time. Wherever it is, I'm going to meet you where you're at. And, and I, I love to beat people's health goals. And then we find the best way to support them. Well, that's the most important part. I know they have me wearing this little Fitbit, right? Uh, making certain I get at least 10,000 steps in a day, that I take the right supplements, that I do all these things to keep my body going, and that I make certain I use products that are good for me. Like, I didn't know that a lot of the makeup and the skincare that we have literally has estrogen put in it, and they don't have to say that it's in there. And estrogen actually, according to many, many doctors, helps women get breast cancer. So I'm sitting there going, why are we not told all this stuff, right? And yet when you look at what is actually out there that doesn't have all that extra stuff, it still does a good job in helping you look the youngest that you can look. Well, I, I'm so glad that you brought up the skincare, and, and I don't want to uh, uh, pass over that. You know, you, your your skin is your largest organ, uh, and, and especially we're seeing the largest demographic of growth with skincare is in the male population because males have always been taught, you know, hey, I don't need skincare; that's for the ladies. Yeah. It's not for me. 
listen, our skin is uh, getting weathered constantly and our skin, just like our body is absorbing all of these toxins. You go have a great point around skincare. Hey, these are, uh, and supplements, these are noisy spaces. There's a lot of people out there that are making all these claims and adding things in there. Our skincare is incredibly clean and with the, uh, the ingredients that will make the largest impact on your skin. So often we see um, these, these high priced skincare products. At the end of the day, the ingredients aren't that high priced. It's these companies' marketing plans that we're spending all the money on. So people will come to me and say, hey, wh why, why your skincare products? And I said, listen, I think it's time for you to divorce the marketing plan that you're funding with all of your dollars and get the products that are the very best for you. The, the incredible dermatologist that formulates our skincare products he got engaged in skincare about 25, 30 years ago, just like X Endurance Supplements. And he did it because he was treating, you just brought it up, women that were using products that were irritating or causing harm to their skin while they thought it was something that was helping them. So he developed his own skincare line. He worked on one of the president's CDCs, very well-known individual that that just is, is out to make the very highest quality product. So to, to avoid any of these, like you don't need to keep on adding things into products to make them better. You've just got to have the right ingredients that will make an impact and make them healthy for you. Well, and that's the biggest thing. It's about what is healthy for us, not just what's advertised the best, right? So Sean, what is the one thing that you want to leave our listeners with today that would help them the most? You know, I, I want everyone just to just, just think a little bit better than you feel right now, whether you're in great shape or whether you have something that you really want to work on or that you're dealing with. Think about the long-term investment that you could start making today by investing in your health. And again, we talked about some pillars. Health is multiple things, but start with an incredible foundation of skin care and supplementation to fill up your body with the very best fuel to get you there. Then get out and get some movement. You need to be eating well. Um, you wanna make sure you have recovery and you wanna make sure that your mind is connected in the proper thoughts around your health and wellness. So that's gonna get you the right actions to have that long-term investment, to be with the ones you love. That Boy, that's important. And in my book, Becoming More, you can't get to better until you get to different. You've brought up a lot of different things that people may look at and say, I need to go in that direction. So what would they do to connect with you? How would they find you? Well, I'll tell you, we're going to provide some links that uh, people can access me personally and access you so that they, anyone can take a look at our products and the things that we've talked about. Listen, what we want to do is make a difference as quickly as possible. If you have any questions and you have any authentic health goals that you want to share with us, we want to support you on that. X Endurance, you can go to xendurance.com and you're going to have links to get in touch with me. Um, on this podcast so that everyone can immediately get in touch with me for a consultation or if they just want to share uh, some goal that they have that they're struggling with. That will be great, Sean. And just tell them Diana Kokoska sent you and it'll all work out great. I know that we're here just to help you become more in every area of your life. Thank you so much, Sean. You poured into us today. You've helped us understand that our health is a long-term investment and we need to start now. Thanks again. Hey, Thanks great to all gratitude. Of us. Thank you so much, Diana. I always appreciate being in your presence. I learned a lot.